Hello, this is uh, the first uh, video, uh, in the first uh, lecture of uh, the course on gravity of the Master in Theoretical Physics of the Universidad Autónoma de Madrid. This is actually my first video and uh, all this is quite new uh, to me. I suppose that uh, it is also new to you, the fact that you are being uh, talked uh, through videos. In any case, please be uh, tolerant with my uh, errors and uh, the shortcomings of these videos. Uh, I hope they will be improving as uh, we go on, okay, we advance. Okay, we are uh, going to start uh, the course. The first uh, <coughs> topic in the program is uh, a review of special relativity. There are several reasons why we want to start uh, with this uh, review. Uh, you should already be acquainted with the special relativity, but uh, we want to use it as a tool to learn uh, some basic concepts that will be generalized uh, when we start uh, working on uh, general relativity. So what is uh, special relativity? Special relativity is what is called a framework theory. It's not a theory devoted to explain a particular phenomenon or a particular interaction or a particular system. It is uh, a framework for the rest of the theories of physics. It is based on a principle, uh, the principle of special relativity, and uh, principles in physics are the analogous of the articles of the constitution. Uh, the rest of the laws of physics have to agree with uh, the Articles of the Constitution and uh, the laws of physics have to agree with uh, the principles of physics. In fact, uh, this principle that we are going to formulate is really a statement about uh, the form of the rest of the laws of physics explicitly. As you know, this is a generalization of the Galilean relativity principle formulated by Galileo a long time ago and uh, on which uh, Newtonian physics is based. The difference with this uh, Galilean principle is that uh, special relativity uh, knows about electromagnetism that was discovered much uh, later, okay. and uh, the new laws of electromagnetism which are the Maxwell laws. People spent a long time trying to see uh, if uh, the Maxwell laws and the Galilean principle of relativity were compatible. Okay, if the laws of electromagnetism <coughs> were had the same form in all inertial frames when you transform uh, these laws using Galilean transformations, and uh, nobody succeeded. Okay, in fact, it was in this form that Lorentz. Uh, discovered uh, the Lorentz transformations when he tried to find under which transformations the L Maxwell laws were uh, invariant or they, they uh, transformed uh, keeping the general form. Okay, We, we are going to uh, explain all these uh, concepts, what is the general form of, uh, form of <coughs> a law of physics, etc. Uh, later. In 1905, uh, when Einstein formulated the principle of special relativity, all this was uh, well known and this incompatibility uh, between uh, the transformations that preserved uh, the Newton's laws of motion and uh, those that preserved uh, the form of uh, the Maxwell laws uh, was also well known. This uh, created really a crisis in, uh, in physics, in theoretical physics. You had to choose which were the right laws of physics and uh, formulate a principle basically telling that the right transformations are those that preserve those laws, the, the ones that you say that they are the, the right ones. In this case, Einstein uh, chose uh, the Maxwell laws as the right laws of physics or, or good laws of physics. So automatically the Newton laws are not good, or, good laws of physics anymore. There was a lot of evidence of uh, how the Maxwell laws describe perfectly well all the electromagnetic phenomena, so Einstein uh, was justified in doing this. And uh, the formulation is basically the same formulation as uh, the Galilean relativity principle. All the laws of physics have 
have the same form. in all inertia frames reference frames although we have used the same words to formulate both uh, principles of relativity not all the words mean exactly the same in particular this expression all the laws of physics means something different in each case in the Galilean case All the laws of physics means just the Newton laws. In the special relativity case, it means the Newton laws plus the laws of uh, electromagnetism or the Maxwell laws. This is uh, a big difference because uh, all the Newton laws are compatible with the Galilean transformations. But the Maxwell laws are not compatible with them. They are only compatible with the Lorentz transformations. Then, if uh, we decide that the Newton laws are correct, uh, well, uh, we conclude that it is the Galilean transformations that preserve the form of the laws of physics, and then there must be something wrong with the Maxwell laws. In fact, we should not believe them at all. But if we choose the Maxwell laws as good laws of physics, the consequence of applying this principle is that the Lorentz transformations are the right transformations relating uh, quantities and laws in the two independent two different inertial frames and uh, the conclusion is that uh, we have to change uh, the Newton laws or uh, improve them because they are as we usually write them wrong. Einstein chose as uh, good laws of physics the Maxwell laws which means that the right transformations between uh, inertial frames are given by the Lorentz transformations and uh, this means at the same time that the uh, Newton laws will have to be modified or changed in some way, as we will see. Before we go on, uh, we have to mention that there are uh, more laws of physics, and uh, okay, some of them were discovered uh, later, but at the time there was uh, one set of laws, the laws of uh, Newton's gravity, And these laws uh, are compatible with the Galilean transformations only. So it is not just uh, the Newton laws of motion that uh, we will have to change, but also the laws of Newton's gravity. One problem that uh, we will see uh, is that uh, there is no way to modify these laws of gravity May and make them compatible with the special relativity principle and with the Lorentz transformations. And this is why uh, we will not stay with the special relativity and we will have to move to a more general theory, which is uh, general relativity. Okay, so this is just uh, an advance of uh, what happens, but this is the general philosophy. Other laws of physics, like those that govern uh, a strong and weak uh, nuclear interactions, are uh, compatible with the special relativity principle and uh, there, are, there is no uh, problem whatsoever with them from this point of view. It's just gravity that uh, tells us, uh, that demands uh, 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 going beyond uh, special relativity. Okay, and now we can start uh, seeing what are the consequences of uh, adopting the Maxwell laws uh, and the Lorentz transformations. Okay, in fact, we will see how these Lorentz transformations follow from uh, the Maxwell laws. The main consequence of the Maxwell laws is that uh, light is uh, propagated as a wave at constant speed in some inertial frame, a speed that uh, we call uh, c by convention, and which is approximately 3 times 10 to the 8 uh, meters. 
second minus one. But this uh, consequence that follows from uh, Maxwell's laws, it is a law of physics itself, okay, it follows directly from these laws. Uh, this consequence can be derived in one inertial frame or any other inertial frame. Moving at any arbitrary speed with respect to the original one. The consequence will be always the same, that the speed of light is c. The consequences of this are uh, really uh, dramatic as can be put, uh, can be shown uh, or made manifest by uh, this uh, very well-known uh, mental experiment or Gedanken experiment uh, in which you, we have an observer, okay, and this would be his or her uh, reference frame and another observer which is in a rocket, okay and this rocket uh, moves at uh, half of the speed of light with respect to uh, this observer. And we set up this experiment in such a way that when the, the, the rocket uh, passes by the origin of this uh, frame, okay, okay, sorry for my drawings, at the same time uh, we send a flash of light, okay. So we wait one second in this reference frame and light will have propagated to a distance uh, of c okay in one second and this uh, rocket will have moved in our reference frame to a distance c halves okay what uh, do uh, the observer in the rocket sees after one second in his clock okay because a reference frame a complete reference frame includes not only space coordinates but uh, time even in the Galilean case and that time is measured by uh, a clock uh, which is sitting in uh, at rest in the origin of uh, this uh, reference frame and uh, okay if this rocket moves at a constant speed so it is another uh, reference frame okay the clock is sitting at the origin of this reference frame so what does it measure According to the uh, special relativity principle and the fact that the speed of light is constant for any uh, inertial observer, he or she will see uh, that the light after one second in this frame is at a distance c, not c halves as uh, this guy uh, seems to believe or seems to measure. Okay, instead of c halves, he will see that light is at a distance of c meters okay three times uh, 10 to the 8. how can this happen okay how can these two things be uh, true at the same time okay the only possibility is that the time that uh, is measured in this system and the time that is measured in this in this system are different times one of the main characteristics of uh, newtonian mechanics uh, is that uh, time is a universal thing uh, in any reference, all inner cell frames measure the same time. Okay, you can set the origin of this time uh, to a different value, but uh, apart from this, okay, which is a translation, a constant translation in time, uh, time always goes at the same, uh, flows at the same speed in, in any reference frame. The consequence of this uh, experiment is that uh, there is a time for this observer that we can call t1 and a time t2 which is uh, for this uh, observer and t1 is not just t2 plus some constant. Okay. The transformation between these two uh, time coordinates which will be different uh, will be given by uh, this Lorentz, uh, Lorentz transformation. Okay. We can also argue that uh, the distances that uh, these observers measure are uh, probably different and uh, the coordinates are different. Uh, the way in which these measurements are related, okay, it will be different uh, from the way uh, from uh, the one given by the Galilean transformations, and this is what we are going to see next. How uh, the quantities or uh, the that are measured in one uh, coordinate system, time and uh, coordinates uh, position, uh, are related to those measured in uh, the other coordinate system 
assuming that this coordinate system is attached to some uh, inertial frame and uh, this is are attached to another reference frame initial reference frame moving at some uh, relative speed uh, with respect to the former this will be the subject of the next uh, video